I admit that as a survivor of an abuser, the thought of universal salvation isn't very nice when I think about my abuser being saved. In Mormon theology, he will eventually be saved anyway. He'll end up in some degree of glory. I mean, he hasn't committed the unpardonable sin. But there was no justice. And, and even though Lilith is fiction, it was written by a universalist uh, clergyman. And it goes through explaining how God might work this out in a universalist kind of unconditionally loving way. There's basically, this guy goes into this world through a mirror and is led by this raven. And there's different sections of this world where, like, the people that want to have wars and killing, their day is spent getting up, fighting, killing each other. And then when, this, you know, that is over, they go back in their graves and they get up and they do it again. They go back in their graves and they get up and do it again. And they're allowed to keep doing that until they get sick of it. They finally get their fill of it and they want something more at that point they get a change. There's another section where all these skeletons and society people dress up and dance and wear their stinky clothes and their carriages and they get to do that over and over again until they're sick of all the social crap. And there's this really, really evil character, which you would think is irredeemable, who ends up being reclaimed. And it was reading this book that partly helped me to let go of some of the anger and hurt and hatred toward my LDS ecclesiastical abuser. To accept that maybe someday he could be in heaven with me. Because with Mormon heaven, if he ended up in the celestial kingdom, I sure as hell wanted him on the farthest side of it away from me. And I guess reading Lilith is what helped me to maybe accept that someday he would stop being an asshole by his own free will and choice. After he was full up to his nose and finished with his assholery. Until that day came, he would get all the assholery he wanted. I hope that someday he does get sick of it. But that's not my problem, that's his. And, and that helped me to let go. But only in believing that this God, who could unconditionally love and be patient with my abuser, was also loving and patient and kind with me, and that all of this was just. So much of Christian pushing of forgiveness and repentance is not just. It isn't. And so I decided to go on and see if Quaker thought was universalist. My next video is about that.